Here we are at the Slosh Pit in Jersey City, where the Jersey City Grinders will take on the Ottawa Drinkers in tonight's first of four matchups on the SPL Network. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Darth. Let's get to know the rosters that'll be on the ice for this one. This is the first Prospect Division match. I believe that has been casted, at least as far as I know of. Ottawa Drinkers right now 2-0 on the season, coming off with a few hefty wins against a few names that uh, you might not have expected them to come away with a win on. But uh, one of those teams was against me, so I can say firsthand the Ottawa Drinkers looking fresh, looking fine, and uh, whether or not Cosby not around for this game will have uh, effects on the uh, team's chemistry. Of course, the Jersey City Grinders, not the start to the season they wanted, but it's the start to the season they got. Bobby Boy, Captain and Cat Collector, Crazy Vinny, and Davo, also known as Wavo Wavo. I'm going to call him Dave. But either way, Jersey City Grinders, first season out of the open division. Ottawa Drinkers, first time in a long time in the league again. Of course, came in dropping down from the challenger division to be with his boys, looking to sink down the vibes and uh, have a good time here this season. McGilly, K-Man, and Brewski are in the lobby for the Ottawa Drinkers, so now we just await their, uh, their opponent. But uh, both these teams looking to get accustomed to one another. Uh, taking a look at their previous five, Ottawa Drinkers, some good things to say. This is, I think this is reversed. It is indeed reversed. I don't know what happened there, Chief. But the Ottawa Drinkers record there on the left side, a victory over the Edmonton Electric Elk, 6-7, and a 4-1 victory over the Hot Springs Cinnamon Bears. I still hold grudges. But uh, that was a rough game. My first of the season back on the ice did not go my way, but it did go Brewski's way. Last time me and Brewski met at center ice, the story tells a different tale, but uh, that one's lost the time. Jersey City, not the start of the season they were looking for. 8-3 loss to the Ottawa Valley Puck Slappers and a 3-5 loss to the Edmonton Electric Elk. So uh, they got a common denominator. Whether or not you want to bet according to that, that is uh, up for you and your wares to uh, sell to. But taking a look at what the prospect division looks like here this season. Hopefully this graphic works. The Rockets on the bottom, the Beauties on the top. There's two conferences here in the Prospect Division. Um, it looks like the Knoxville Knockers are going to be disbanding. And uh, because of that, one player that might be playing tonight may not be able to take to the ice. The, uh, the roster of the Knoxville Knockers, as they disperse into the various avenues, have all four been suspended until the end of this week. So um, take it as you will. The conferences are already one-sided. We'll see how that affects the playoffs as we get closer to it. Top three get guaranteed a playoff spot. Um, and there is a wild card, two wild card spots to go after that. So uh, the Beauties Conference going to have less games played in the regular season. Going to tilt the tables a little bit for that wild card spot. We'll see if the boys will, uh, if that'll actually affect anything. Last season didn't really affect a whole lot, even though the conferences were, again, one team apart. But we did start with 14 teams in the intermediate division. We started with 12 in the prospect division. So it might have a little bit more uh, punch, a little bit more uh, weight to uh, the disbanding during I, it was basically a week one disband um it happened sunday night last week but uh either way uh we're gonna be taking a look at the reno reefer chiefers here later tonight they lost two games but one of them one of them was in overtime so out of all of the prospect division they are not last um of course jersey city grinders looking for the first points in the points column down there fifth place in the rockets conference ottawa drinkers right now first place they have the game in hand that gives them the tiebreaker over the Edmonton Electric Elk alongside their head-to-head -head record to uh, coincide with that one Ottawa Puck Slappers pretty pretty close pretty close but uh we'll see how the rest of the season everybody in their own conference will play everybody twice so everybody that's in the Rockets will play the Rocket Conference two times and play the opposing conference one time so the drinkers only get to play the Beauties Conference one time, and vice versa. Let's say the Kodako Karens, they'll only play the Rockets Conference one time. So uh, you got to make those matches count during the cross-conference matches. The first and last week of the season, I think, are the only weeks where you will play entirely your 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 side of the conference as uh, as to help set pace and whatnot. But we still got about three minutes away from the drop of this puck here tonight. So got plenty of time to talk about what might transpire down there on the ice. Both these teams uh, starting a chapter in both their history books. This is the first time either of these teams, either of these players, both combos of players have never seen each other on SPL ice. So uh, tonight going to be the start of that uh, chapter in both of their history books. Jersey City Grinders feeling pretty good about it. Feeling pretty, pretty, 
pretty adamant on uh, competing this season. Not the start they wanted, but uh, you got plenty of time left to turn this uh, this puppy around and get this show uh, back in the wins column. But we'll see what they got going on here tonight. We got four games here on the SPL Network. First, we have the Jersey City Grinders taking on the Ottawa Drinkers. After this has concluded, we'll take a look at the uh, Okinawa Generations taking on the Washington Wolverines at 10 o'clock. And then at 10.30, the Jersey City Grinders come back to take on the Reno Reefer Chiefers as a cross-conference matchup. And then at the end of the night, in the Intermediate Division, we have the Okinawa Generations and the Austin Alligators taking us into the 11.30 hour here on the East Coast of America. It's going to be a late one. It's going to be a long haul. First time I've casted four games in a hot second. We'll see if my voice is able to keep up and if I'm able to stay awake. I'm a very tired man tonight. But uh, either way, the games are being played, so the show must go on. We'll see what we got going in our back pocket as the, uh, the night progresses. I'm realizing none of those division badges match up, but that doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, Brewski came in, McGilly in the lobby for the Ottawa Drinkers. Ottawa Drinkers playing their few other games with Cosby. Cosby normally playing their three. At least uh, I can attest to from uh, previous interactions with that team. So we played a few, uh, a hot second ago. Um, against the Edmonton Electric Elk, the lineup was the same. Uh, Brewski, Cosby came in. This is McGilly's first time on the ice here in season number 10, making his debut. Jersey City Grinders looking to get a little gumption, getting a little uh, wind underneath their sails, if you uh, if you know what I'm saying. If you're, if you're tasting the flavor, I'm kicking at you. But uh, the Jersey City Grinders promoting up into the prospect division out of the prospect play-in, finding victories over the Detroit Dashers 6-5. The Los Angeles Panthers 10-0. Actually, was a 7-6 victory, but um, L.A. played with an ineligible player at the time. And then, of course, a 7-5 loss to the Kota Cook Karens. They were able to seed high enough. I think they finished second in the prospect play. And, of course, Kota Cook playing in the other conference, um, opposing to this one. Um, yeah, there's going to be a good one here tonight. I, I have full confidence that uh, we'll have a pristine prospect matchup. It's either going to be a blowout or it's going to be a three-goal game. I really don't know which way it's going to go. But Davo, Cat Collector, Bobby seeming to be the starting three. Um... Not in the lobby quite yet. As I speak of the devil, he arrives. Davo, Cat Collector, Bobby Boy in the lobby for the Jersey City Grinders. But, uh, yeah, I have no idea what to expect. I never really watch uh, from Challenger down in SPL as uh, Pro normally monopolizes the entirety of my time. So um, tonight's going to be a little bit of a treat. Going to get to see some uh, lower-level play. See what the uh, the rest of SPL has to offer up for us here tonight. If you're new to SPL, you're not sure what level of competition you're going to be seeing here tonight. Here's the hierarchy of the divisions. The prospect division is where we're going to be seeing two of our four matches tonight. The other two coming out of the intermediate division. You start with no SPL experience. We open the doors to everybody in the open division. You don't need to uh, have any call to fame nor uh, prior SPL experience to join the league during the registration period. Um, if you have no prior experience, you're stuck in the open division. We have 36 teams down there this season. I'm sure that number is going to slowly diminish as the season progresses because um, some teams get into it not knowing what they got themselves into, and uh, they want out. Sometimes they get 10 out in the first few weeks, and they're like, all right, this is the skill level. We're not quite there yet. We'll, we'll take some time back in the pubs and uh, see if we can boost our confidence a little bit and they get back in there. Those teams that do get back in there end up making their way up to the prospect division, the, I, the IM division, challenger, sometimes even a pro. Um, very few teams have made the grind from open to pro. Kota Cook Stars being one of them, Michigan Mallards, uh, Orlando Otters being a few other names that have made the grind from open all the way to pro. Um, Pittsburgh Vipers, for instance, started in the intermediate division. We haven't always had the prospect division. Back in Season 3 of SPO, the Pittsburgh Vipers made their way into the scene. Started in IM, base went lossless their season in IM, went up to Challenger, and then so far and so forth into Pro. But it looks like all six players are ready to rock. All six players are ready to roll. We're taking this one down on the ice for the first time here tonight. Jersey City Grinders on the right side in the green. Ottawa Drinkers left side in the yellow. The puck is dropped. The game is on, and time is underway for the first period of action. Down to the near side. Davo getting a piece of that one towards the cage, but not on. Davo out in front. Came in. Scoops it off the back end. Bobby keeping that one alive. Sends this one down the wall. 
Davo trying to get out of the defense or the offensive net. Brewski topside shot on towards the cage. Hits the near side, and that was going to be sent off the near side. Screaming wide. Davo here in the danger zone. Out in front. Nice stick check by Brewski, keeping that one back behind his own cage. So that one leaks all the way down the ice. Ottawa staying alive. Near side. Davo continues on north ways, looking for that pass back out to the point. Bobby overcorrecting on that one. Going to have to chase after this one. Banks that one off the near side wall, hoping for a prayer. McGilly sent down the near side. Here's K-Man out in front, finding his way over to Brewski. Top side. Brewski from the point, taken away by Bobby Boy. Bobby Boy top side, bringing this one down low for Jersey City. Davo looking down near side. Off the forehand, chipping this one back for his captain. He's going to have to retreat for this one. Brewski throws this one back to McGilly. Top side, trying to give a little bit of a give and go there. But it leads his man a little bit too far. Brewski fighting for it with Cat Collector in the top side corner of the Jersey City zone. Bobby Boy going to throw this one neutral zone. McGilly came in. Brewski with a shot. Cat Collector there with a save. Great try for the shot. Nobody in a green jersey out in the slot to uh, tuck that one to bed. Davo stopped by K-Man. Davo goes off Brewski. Brewski here for the drinkers. Near side pass over to K-Man. K-Man taking this one down low off the corner. Sent towards the cage but not out in front. Bobby Boy hugging that near side. Out in front goes over to a nice shot by McGilly but not able to send that one home. The far side post says no. Davo, Brewski brought back for Ottawa. 3.17 to go here in the first. Here's Cat Collector. Nice shot. Better save by McGilly. K-Man dancing with a puck near side. Shooting towards the net. Trying to find a deflection from his captain. Brewski out in front. K-Man getting a piece. McGilly tries to keep with the puck. Off to the near side. He tries to find the passing lane out. Davo going to help him along with it. K-Man near side. Throws this one down low off the end wall. Cat Collector there. Sending this one near side wall. Davo pushes forward. McGilly sends it loose top side. Here's Bobby Boy. Cat Collector down low. McGilly awarded that save sent off to the far side. Ottawa on the defensive end. Came in to McGilly trying to find a way to shoss this one down the ice with 2.38 to go here in the first period of action. Davo crosses this one over to Bobby. Bobby from the point trying to collect that one down to the near side but not able to find his way through tamely. McGilly takes it away. Stopped by Davo. Top side pass hard through orbit. And down into the offensive zone. Brewski tries to clear it out. Finds K-Man. Going to continue that one north for the boys in yellow. Here's Davo with it now. 2.16 to go here in the first. We're still scoreless. McGilly. Stopped by Bobby. Bobby swinging at that one, trying to find some traction. Here's McGilly. Breaks free of the defense. Tries to lob that one for K-Man. Just leads him a little too far on it. Davo top side. Looking for that shot down the ice. Brewski there gets in the lane. Finding the way back center lane. Stopped by Davo. Davo trying to find his way top side. Came in going to be the first man to it. Sent down near side. Brewski here with it now. Brewski started his SPL career back in season one of rebound with the Ottawa Drinkers. They've gone through a few forms and changes throughout his season. But nonetheless, the boys are back in town looking for a good time. Da what? Davo. Davo. Top side. Nice shot. Scoring off the hip. And we find ourselves goal number one. The Jersey City Grinders first on the board, and it's 1 0. K Man, well, the shot goes into the near side corner. McGilly shooting. Nice save there by Davo. Goes top side. Brewski tries to get it out in front. Cat collector there, tending that top side post. Davo near side goes off the body of K Man. McGilly with a try towards the cage, not able to find it. Cat Collector there trying to find his way through the, through the neutral zone. Came in topside trying to find his way from the point to the slot. But the defense from Jersey City just too strong. Davo topside not able to get the puck to work with him. 60 seconds to go here in the first chapter of a possible three here tonight. Came in sent off the face of Davo down to the near side corner. Davo stopped by Brewski. Brewski out in front. Came in with a shot goes off Davo. Came in trying to keep it alive. Brewski getting a piece but a better try from the Jersey City defense. Standing tall back in the crease with 42 to go. Cat Collector stopped by Brewski. Bobby Boy down low trying to get that one out in front of the cage. Forehand pass near side. Goes off the wall. He's going to have to trail after it. Davo picks it up off the back end. Thrown out in front. Off the back end. Cat Collector not able to get the shot released. Here's Bobby Boy from the hip. Forehand stopped by K-Man. McGilly with a backhand try. Goes wide off the near side. Davo top side. Cat Collector thrown down the ice. They have the lead. Just looking to maintain it. Bobby Boy great stick check. Throws it out in front. But nobody there to send it packing. McGilly great poise. Great positioning, saving a goal. 10 seconds remain here in the first. Brewski sent top side, whizzing by. Bobby Boy going to throw this one down the ice, and that will be the end of the first. 1-0, Jersey City. 
see what the rest has to go. Five in the books, ten to go. And uh, two shots apiece. Only one has found its way into the back of the net. Who's going to get the next one? Question on everyone's mind here tonight. Very, very low takeaways. Very low turnovers. Both teams trying to shoot a lot, trying to score a lot. Second period of action, ready to rock and roll. Jersey City right side in the green. Ottawa Drinkers left side in the yellow. The puck is dropped and the second period is on. Yanks it off the top side window. Bruski trying to catch it in stride. McGilly, Bruski goes off. Bobby Boy over to Cat Collector. Bruski here with it now. Off the forehand, stopped by Davo. Okay, man. McGilly lags out of the lobby. What will happen? Is it going to be sportsmanship? Is it going to be... Is it going to be no? We're playing slap shot. But he's back in town. He's got his rider reconnected. He gave his hamster a little bit of an upgrade there for uh, for his services here tonight. Davo near side. Bruski takes it away off the forehand. Finds a little bit of freedom. Has to get past one. Chips this one to the near side corner. Cat collector the first man to it. Bobby Boy top side sent out. Goes off Bruski. Backhand shot goes wide off the near side. Okay, man, trying to find a piece of the puck. Goes off Cat Collector twice. Back to the neutral zone. Two on one. A forehand pass down low to Bobby. Bobby off the back end. Thrown out in front. Came in. Deflecting that one back towards the blue line. Davo low. Bruski the first touch. Cat Collector better one. Goes off Bobby Boy. From K-Man stick to Cat Collector. Nice shot. Better deflection by K-Man on the near side faceoff dot. McGilly top side. Finds Bruski. Bruski sends this one down the top side wall. 340 to go here in the second. They'll return the favor back for Jersey City. Here's Cat Collector. Top side from out to the point, finding its way over to Davo. Davo stopped by Bruski. Bruski with an empty net tries to find his way towards the cage. Ends up jiving right into Davo's lane. Great try there by Kamen. Not able to find his way through. Bruski trying to find his way to the near side. Not able to do so. Jersey City staying alive. Here's Kamen. Top side. It's past one. Pass towards Bruski, just out of his reach. Davo might have had the save, might not have. I guess we'll never know. Topside K-Man pulling, nice shot. But a bigger save there by the collector of Cats himself. On the top side, uh, crease. Bobby to the neutral zone. Cat collector chasing after it. Going off the end wall, trying to pick up where he left off. So they lean towards the top side of the ice. Jersey City maintaining possession with a deep pass back into the defensive zone. Davo, near side, Cat Collector goes off McGilly towards the cage, going to go wide off that near side post. Cat Collector near side goes to the slot. Bobby Boy back down low. McGilly sent top side over to Bruski. Bruski off the forehand, looking to wheel, looking to deal. That shot goes barely wide. Cat Collector sent top side. McGilly goes off, came in over to Bruski. Bruski going into traffic, finding his way off McGilly and down into the grinder zone. Here's with Davo, near side. Bob, nice, nice touch to maintain possession. Almost caught that puck in stride. Made it something beautiful. Came in, empty net just off the far side post. He'll try to keep it alive. Top side, Bruski back out to the point. Trying to find his way off the wall. Cat Collector going to dump this one down and in here in the second. Two minutes to go here in this middle chapter of play. It's still one nothing. Came in, going off Davo. McGilly trying to fight along the top side wall. Davo trying to find a little bit of freedom back on the defensive end. Didn't have a whole lot of passing lanes to work with there as he sends it off the near side window. Came in, gets a hip on it, goes over to McGilly. Shooting, nice save there by Bobby out of his own point. McGilly from the blue line towards the cage. Davo, great save, throws it down the ice. and to give his boy some time to breathe. Came in. Doc going wide. Bruski off the forehand to the point. McGilly with a shot, goes off Davo. Davo top side. Trying to bring this one back on the defensive end for the boys in green. Hobby boy, bank pass to himself, goes off Bruski. Bruski, down low, the captain of Ottawa, trying to make the most of his opportunities. Wrap around an attempt, slapped away by Cat Collector. So he's going to chase after this one, swing of the stick, and knock it loose back to the neutral zone. McGilly here with the puck now. Forehand shot stopped by Bobby. Bobby boy not able to get past K-Man. K-Man here with the possession, shooting, scoring from the neutral zone, and it's one to one. Off goes the water bottle. And down goes the lead. 102 to go here in the second. And a great shot labeled for the top shelf. Looking to nullify. Hobby Boy off that near side. Finding his way through the traffic. Bruski here with an owl with 52 seconds remaining. Bruski, not a whole lot of options. Looking to flutter that one over to K-Man. K-Man trying to fight his way through the traffic. Is Bruski going to take this one back on the defensive side? Returns it near. Nobody there to take it. 
Davo top side. Cat collector first man to it for the grinders. Sent down to the near side. Finds Bobby Boy. Bobby Boy to McGilly. Shot near side and wide. 30 seconds remain here in the second. 1-1's one, our score. Ruski shooting. Hits the post and goes wide. Cat collectors near side. Goes off Ruski in the neutral zone. Going to collect that one off the backhand. Forehand sauce near side. Goes off Cat collector here for the grinders. Backhand chip towards the cage. McGilly with a shot. Hits the post and it goes near side. Oh, just barely. Ten seconds remain. Brewski from the point to K-Man. Nice save there by Cat Collector. Goes off the body of McGilly. Goes off Davo. Brewski came in with three seconds remaining. And that will do it here for the second. One to one after two. The next goal is crucial. Both teams not giving each other a whole lot of opportunities with the puck. Minute 42 of possession time uncontested for Ottawa. 51 seconds for Jersey City, the biggest discriminator on the screen right now. See what they got in store. It's not always the team with the most possession time that wins the game. It's those who hit their shots. And Bruski right now having a fabulous takeaway ratio. Giving the puck over two times to a six that he receives it. And uh, one of the bigger difference makers on the ice right now. His board battling coming out in a big way. We'll see if he can keep it up going into this third and final chapter in a few moments. Davo, most possession time for Jersey City right now. Cat Collector, two of the team's three saves, and the only goal for the boys in green. One more period remaining between these two teams. We'll see Jersey City again later on tonight as they take on the Reno Reefer Chiefers at about an hour. Well, with that being said, six parties ready to rock, six parties ready to roll. We're back down on the ice. Jersey City right side in the green. Ottawa Drinkers left side in the yellow. The puck is dropped. This final chapter is underway. Came in. Look for the pass out in front. Nice try, but a better save there by Cat Collector. Off the near side, here's Brewski with an out. Brewski, pass out in front. Came in with a chip towards the cage. Goes into the crease. Cat Collector getting a chop towards the neutral zone. Bobby Boy awarded that save on the defensive end. McGilly, Bobby. Back on the defensive side, finding its way over to Cat Collector. Ottawa Drinkers want this win. They want it now. And they're looking to score the goal for it. McGilly, last man back. Looking for that hook towards the neutral zone. Goes off Bobby. Bobby with possession. Near side, finds his way over to Davo. Davo not able to get it out in front. Good save there. Good stoppage by Bruski. Bruski, top side. Came in, pulling. Off the back end. Goes off McGilly, top side. McGilly from the hip tries to find a way towards the cage. Goes off Bruski's stick and out by Bobby. Came in. Bruski, towards that top side of the ice. Cat Collector near side. Bobby Boy trying to get a hand on that one for Jersey City. Near side, goes off McGilly, top side. This goes into the corner. Cat Collector on his own defensive back wall, trying to find his way past K-Man. K-Man near side, finds Bruski from the point. Trying to get it towards the cage, will do so. Cat Collector, the first save. K-Man keeps possession, but not able to find a way through the traffic. McGilly pulling, nice stop there by Davo. Davo, near side. Bobby Boy, the captain of Jersey City against the captain of Ottawa. As that puck is loosened up top side. Cat Collector here with it now. Looking to carry the mail near side. Bobby Boy whips this one down into the offensive zone. McGilly the first man. Bobby Boy off the backhand. Finds Cat Collector. Off the backhand. Shooting goes off the post. McGilly awarded the save. McGilly here with the puck now. Off the backhand. Treads through the neutral zone. Finds Bruski down low. 3.15 to go here in the third. Bruski topside looking for the wheel. Not able to find the shot through the traffic from the Jersey City defense. Cat Collector with a shot goes off the back window. Here's K-Man. Three minutes remaining here in the third period of action. Great shot, just not able to find its way through the traffic unscathed. Here's Bobby, throws this one down low. Davo waiting for it, finds a way to get it on the back end. Not able to find a wraparound shot. K-Man and Bruski waiting for it to happen to tell him no. Bobby fumbles it. Bruski, the first man shooting, goes across the crease and into the far side corner. K-Man takes up the loose puck. Off to the near side, hands it off to McGilly from Davos stick check. Throws this one top side across the green. Bruski finding its way off his back end. Gets past one. Tries to jive his way through. Goes off Bobby Boy. With 2.27 to go here in the third. Davo down low, past top side, back over to his captain. Bobby Boy off the back end. Tries to find Cat Collector through the neutral zone, but not able to do so. McGilly, top side. Trying to get his way through the traffic as K-Man. Bobby Boy off the forehand. Stick checked away by the drinker's offenseman. Bobby Boy with a shot towards the cage. Goes wide. Here's McGilly with it now. Throws it off the far side wall. Goes over to Cat Collector. Shot goes off Bruski. Bruski tries to find his way off the red line. From the backhand. K-Man. Davo. Forehand shot goes off the near side. Here's McGilly with it now. Minute 52 to go here in the third period of action. Bobby Boy. 
Goes off his backhand over to Davo. Came in. Stopped by Bobby Boy. Came in once more with it off the top side. Gets past two. Forehand pass goes in the air. Might have been able to find Bruski. He doesn't have that Flex Armstrong style of play. Davo top side with a minute 30 to go here in regulation. Finds his way through traffic. Cat collector McGilly fight for the puck. McGilly winning it away for the drinkers. Forehand pass came in. Almost able to get a shot off Davo. Staying on his angles. Getting awarded the best save of this game so far. Keeping his team alive. Came in. Top side finding Bruski. Backhand. Not able to get past Davo. Bruski. Looking down low. Came in, waiting for the puck patiently. He's in his office and he's disconnecting. He's back in the action house now. Bruski, 60 to go. Forehand pass along the top side wall. Came in here looking to pick up the loose pieces. Forehand shot goes off Bobby Boy. McGilly here off the far side wall. Trying to find his way back on the defensive side for the drinkers. Came in, challenged by two green jerseys on the far side wall. Bruski. 45 seconds to go in regulation. Next goal, Shorley is the winner. Shot towards the cage, but not on. Came in, trying his luck at the near side point. Here's Cat Collector. With a long distance try, Bruski has the save. Top side, finding a walk with it, but not able to find the shot. Cat Collector here, collecting the loose puck, throwing down the near side wall, and out the full length of the ice. 25 in ticking. Bruski gets past three. A very difficult shot if he would have not been stick checked. Throws it back on the defensive side. Came in, going to be the first man back for it. 15 seconds to go. Came in, dancing down center lane, gets past one. Forehand pass softly to Bruski. Bruski with 10 seconds remaining, looking to battle it out in the far side, Jersey City corner. Thrown out in front, came in, pulling swiftly off the tip of the stick. It slips by, and we have overtime. An indefinite amount of time. The next goal wins. Loser gets one point on the standings. Winner gets a total of two. Who wants it more? Shot goes top side and wide. Came in, picking it up down in the corner. It's Cat Collector. Trying his hand at the jousting match. Came in to the top side wall. Goes off to Cat Collector. Down low to Bobby Boy. Bobby Boy. Forehand pass through the neutral zone. McGilly, the first man to it for the Ottawa Drinkers. Thrown off the far side wall. Bobby Boy. Stopped by Came in. Bobby Boy. Trying to get this one back for the boys in green. Hey, man. Keeping the pressure applied. Back to the point. Davo shooting. Goes off Bruski and wide. Great block between the hash marks. And they stay alive. Davo. Near side wall, finds Cat Collector. Cat Collector, forehand try, goes off McGilly and down the length of the ice for Ottawa. Came in hot on Davo's heels. Back in the Jersey City end, Davo's going to win this one over to Bobby Boy. Bobby Boy here with an now stopped by Bruski. Bruski back over to K-Man. K-Man from the back end, treads through the neutral zone very carefully. Off the back end, stopped by Bobby Boy. McGilly tries to keep this possession for Ottawa. Top side, Davo and Bruski going to have to play for it. Davo to Bobby Boy. Bobby Boy, forehand shot would have been on, but McGilly. Adamant on his own defensive blue line. Came in, looking down low, dangling, shooting, scoring. Oh, my goodness. He's still got it in him. The bee's knees are coming out in the black and gold. Find themselves a victory. Oh, what a beautiful match. An overtime victory and something that I'm sure all the Ottawa Drinker fans are smiling ear to ear about. 2-1, to one, the final score. And both those teams played a very, um, they played their hearts out so to speak, but I came in's final goal. The the play of the night, really. Dab had a few magnificent saves on the defensive end, but uh, saves only go so far between both these teams. Whenever you don't shoot, you don't score. And Jersey City got trapped in their own end more times than not. I think during that third period of action, one shot was made, and that was from Cat Collector. But uh, Cat Collector, three shots, found one way home. For the team, seven Seven saves, it's, it's a difficult uphill climb, but uh, I have hope. I have the I have the faith and trust in the other one that uh, they'll find a way. Just like that, uh, that one iCarly song. But either way, that's going to do it for our first game. We'll move into the next matchup. It's going to be the Washington Wolverines in the Okinawa Generations when we come right back on the SPL Network. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Darth, and uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> 